Hey guys, how's it going? Tia's back again with episode number 5 of the My Player series. This is of course the series where we're taking our very own Virtual Pro through a career. We're currently at Sheffield United, we've picked up a couple of goals in our opening three games, including one in the most recent episode which went up Thursday evening, was a 3-2 win over Dagenham and Redbridge in the Johnson's Paint Trophy. But as you can see in the bottom left hand side, the manager has picked us in the starting lineup away at Notts County for the next game. You'll presume, considering Billy Painter is on that list there, that we'll be up front a lot Alongside him in a 4-4-2 yet again. It's the only system they've played so far at Sheffield United. We'll pick the away kit to avoid any sort of clashes. But uh, yet yeah, up top in a 4-4-2 alongside Billy Payton. So fingers crossed we can get another decent performance in this. Maybe we can grab ourselves a goal as well and grow some more as a player. So let's jump into the action. Done well to get in there. Plays the ball over the top. I think I'm offside. I missed anyway, but I was offside. Just to, oh, I was well off. I timed my run horribly, to be completely honest. Looking for us through the air. Billy Painter wings to flick on. We've managed to bring it down on a chest. Chance to be in from the outside the box, right into the bottom corner. 10 of 10 shots on target. Our curve has gone up one. And shot power's gone up one as well. That's our third goal in the Sheffield United shirt in just our fourth game. I'm not really too sure how I was able to bring that down on my chest, considering... Yeah, the defender there went for the head. It just misjudged it. Fantastic first time control. Was it outside the box? I think it counts as outside the box there as well. Great finish. Really, really pleased to uh, to have started our Sheffield United career with such uh, great goal scoring form. To be completely honest, let's hope that continues. That was the worst slide tackle I think I've ever done in my entire life. Where's Fotheringham running on? We get a challenge in. That's a lovely ball over the top. Just get rid of it, please, lads. Can you just please just kick it clear? Don't let them back in it. Get rid of it. Thank you. A lovely ball over the top. Looking for the man in behind. If you can put a tackle in, boys, I'd be very much appreciative of that fantastic finish. That's disappointing. The uh, the defenders really weren't marking too well there. That's really, really annoying to let Notts County back into this game. We've been dominant so far. The computer defenders just seem to jockey a lot. They don't like to put a tackle in, especially in the box. Even if you call the second man like I was doing there. It's a great finish. Take nothing away from the finish. Left footed across the goalkeeper into that bottom corner. But still, rather frustrating to get pegged back in this one. It's a good ball out wide to Brayford. He's cut inside beautifully there. He's going to play in Billy Payton. I'm going to make a dart towards the back post. Can you get a cross in please, Billy? Can we have a cross? Can we have a cross? Can we have a cross? No, going to try and play it around like Arsenal. Oh, we watch the bet and we overplay it and nothing comes of it. Go on then. Oh, he's whipped it. On the volley. Oh, I don't believe it. On the volley, Mers. And it goes wide on the follow-up. Oh, what a volley, Mers, from us. That is a fantastic strike. I can't believe. I can't believe that hasn't gone into the back of the net. I waited him to head it and he just, he just smashed it straight away. Picked it out of the air. That is so unlucky from us. What are you doing, Collins? He's just completely given the ball away. You better get a tackle in on Enoch Romney. They're playing it around to Grealish on the left-hand side. It's a great tackle from Chris Maguire. Not the best of clearances from Maguire, though, and they could be in again. Ball's ripped into the box, and the header goes into the bottom corner. It is an absolute gift of a goal for Notts County right there. Calamitous defending. Oh, what are they playing at? Just get rid of it. That is awful. I'm so annoyed. He's a ping and a half looking for Billy Painter. He's found me. Try and play your man in round the side. It's Murphy. He's looked for the ball back to Billy Painter. Under control off the post. Deflected onto the woodwork. Oh, my days. What a strike for Billy Painter. That was fantastic. Go on, chance isn't dead yet. We'll try and break round the corner. Drill it across. F finish it. Oh, so unlucky again. Getting much closer to getting ourselves back in this game now. It's a defeat for Sheffield United. Our first one since we've been here. Unfortunately, our early goal wasn't enough to see us get any points out of this game. It's our first loss since we've uh, we've come out on loan. Disappointing. But nonetheless, we've got a game coming up a little bit later on. Stamina's gone up too, which is very, very nice. Uh, that will help no end, I think, for the future. As you can see, we had a lot of chances, but I just weren't able to uh, to force the issue. And unfortunately, Notts County come away with a win. And it's transfer deadline day. Uh, nothing that I can do here of any particular considering one just to play us. So we'll skip to the next game. 
We're at home against Peterborough then in the second game of the episode. As a Cambridge United fan, I really, really want to get the beating of Peterborough here. As you can see in the table, we sit seventh so far. Three wins and two defeats. So we definitely need to improve and get ourselves up into those playoff spots if we possibly can. Because it would be nice if we're only going to be at Sheffield United for one season to at least have a successful season whilst we're here. We're doing well on a personal level so far, but the team can clearly do with a little bit of an improvement overall in their league standing. So let's try and do that today with some goals if we possibly can. Lovely whipped cross. Great first touch from Kearns. He's got a lot of options. Plays the ball back. Strike! It's gone over the bar. Fantastic connection. Was that Grant McCann on the shot? Wonderful connection. Hit that so hard. The camera won't be able to keep up with that for sure. In fact, he won't keep catch it up at all once he's hit it. Fortunately, it, uh, it went over the bar. Could be on the counter-attack here. I'm going to call for a lob through ball and he's not going to play it. I am so far offside. There's a lovely ball across. McGinn, what are you going to do with it? I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Finesse the far bottom corner perhaps. Deflection! Straight at the goalkeeper. Who knows where that initial shot would have gone. It looked as if it was going to head towards the corner flag to be completely honest. Decent effort nonetheless though with, as a shot on target at least in the 35th minute. Maybe uh, maybe we can manage some more before the game's out. Brett or Somber longer. Get rid. Clear it, you fanny. Thank you. Oh dear, they don't know if make you nervous sometimes, these AI defenders. <laughs> anyway, we're going in at half-time at nil nil. Not too much happening in the first half. A chance for us uh, through ourselves. And then another chance that the goalkeeper well saved after that lovely ball through from Billy Painter. But I'll we'll head into the second half. Hopefully we can continue some uh, some offensive pressure. Pick up a victory. Done well to get that tackle in. Come on, Murphy. I'm going to make a run down the line. Play me. Play me. It's done well. Can I have some runners? Can I have some runners? I'm going to keep going. And then we'll play the reverse lob through ball towards Billy Painter, who brings it down. He has the shot. It's well saved by the goalkeeper. Oh, and I missed the ball with a tackle. I couldn't resist lunging in at that one. Could be in. We've got the ball. Billy, play me. I'm going to have to take it early. A cross goal. Great save from the goalkeeper. And the follow-up header is well saved again. We have a third follow-up shot and it goes wide. We're having the chances to win this game right now. And we just cannot find the back of the net. Pretty frustrating to be completely honest. He's side footed. It's just a smash that we are laces, mate. You've got to hit that one hard. Put a challenge in, please. Get rid of it. No, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Great save. Don't you dare. No! After all of the pressure that we've put on, Peterborough United take the lead. The defence at Sheffield United just do not like to clear the ball. They always try and play it around and never just hoof it. Even when I tell them to just clear the ball and get rid of it, they just don't. We're unlucky that it's come back off the post and fallen straight to them. But look, it just... Oh, there's no strength there. What a fucking penis. Just... Kick it clear, Maguire. Try and hurdle the... Oh, I'm not even going to bother. I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed. We're 1-0 down against fucking Peterborough United. Could be in. They've given the ball away. Go on then. Over the top. It's a lovely ball by Billy Painter. Can we get there? First touch is decent. Second touch is decent. And the shot goes wide. That is painful. That was such a good opportunity. And we've just... Oh, I've cut across it. The finish just is nowhere near good enough. That was the chance to get ourselves back in the game. We've got a new strike partner now, Flynn, coming on. Oh, he's a right wing. Maybe they've changed the formation. It looks like they have. We've gone 3-4-3. Three, three. I'm up front on my own now with uh, two players in wide support. Play me through. Look for the man in behind. Flynn, he's just come on the pitch. Unfortunately, can't get the shot away. So we pick up another defeat. Unfortunately, that's back-to-back -back defeats now in the league for us here at Sheffield United. We had more than enough opportunities to put this game to bed. And uh, we'll see from the stats. We only got a 6.0 rating. Uh, it's just annoying, frustrating, because we, as a team, let alone on our own, had so many chances there. Ten shots, five on target, only 40% possession. Peter played very, very well with the ball. Just did enough, apparently, to win the game. Although I felt like well, we really should have got something out of that. But nonetheless, that's going to bring this episode to a close, guys. We'll come across and have a quick look at the league table. But uh, that's all for this one. So if you could leave the video a like, that'd be absolutely superb. As you can see, we've dropped to ninth in the table. 
But uh, we'll have another one of these up at 12 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. I don't have an ultimate team at the minute. Still in the process of trying to get something back since I've been reset. So, um, yeah, please feel free to leave a video like. So tomorrow's episode will come out at 12 as well instead of 9 o'clock. So be sure to check your sub boxes for that. Subscribe if you haven't already to make sure that you don't miss out on any of this series or the Atletico Madrid career mode series as well. And uh, I will see you guys tomorrow afternoon.